Becoming a FNAF content quitter in 2024 is harder than you think. Compared to the giants like Doctor and Fusion Z Gamer, who built the platform over the years, that was you, a new face on the block that wants to make a name for themselves over something they are passionate about, but don't know where to start. There are more FNAF content creators that focus on new merchandise that comes out. There are 30 FNAF content creators that somehow can piece together the wacky story of FNAF. Then there are the game content creators that focus on games and fan games. There are more categories of FNAF YouTubers like news and stuff like that, but that would be too much to cover. But the question is, where to start? Or, what do you want to do? That's the hardest question that I've experienced so far in making FNAF content. I've been in the community since the beginning, and that comes with some perks like knowledge of the series, but how do you gain an audience from doing stuff like this? That's why I want to talk about in this video what it's like being a new FNAF creator in 2024. Being a new FNAF creator is very hard in my experience. You do slowly build an audience, but it's very competitive compared to the others in the field. And how do you make yourself different from the West? And to be honest, that's a very hard question. I mainly make FNAF shorts and sometimes main, a main video, advertising myself as a PNG tuber to make myself different from the others, and I cover topics and or news that is happening. Sometimes I make little videos that I think are canon, I'm slowly building an audience but I'm dissatisfied with the views I'm getting, which I think is a common thing amongst other creators. You make something that you think would do super well, while in, while in we actuality it flops harder than a fist on land, and then you, that can make you demotivated. I felt this a lot while making my videos so far on FNAF, even though I am very new. You put a lot of effort on something that, that bombs, but another video could do super well. I guess the real question is how the YouTube al algorithm works, and as a new YouTuber, that's a very hard thing to find out because there's nobody that can help you in this journey. You love what you're doing, and you don't mind making this a job, but you have to reach that milestone that can actually start making you money. But then. You have to find an audience that people will enjoy and appreciate your content. And so, you only need a thousand subscribers, but it's harder than you think. Why would someone want to watch you out of all the other quitters out there? And to be honest, that's another hard question. But that's part of the experience. Some people are luckier than others, but that's life. If you keep it up, eventually one day you can make it big with the other FNAF creators, and I hope one day I can reach that goal because I love what I do and I love the videos that I make. And if you want to start too, I hope you get there. It's a hard road ahead, but you gotta push through it. And this, this is off script now because I want to talk about stuff that's on my mind with FNAF. It's fairly hard to talk about certain things because even though we, we are getting a lot of news this year with a bunch of FNAF news, the hardest part is finding your niece in this saturated uh, fan base because there's a lot of genres you could do, but which one do you want to do and that's that's a thing you gotta think about so you can do Morton stuff but people like me that don't have the money to go out and buy every piece of Morton that's, that was, that's out there I can't afford that because I make no money as is and how am I supposed to buy all this stuff with game gaming is easy because there was so much fan games and stuff but you got giants like Darko and Fusion Z Game One that make videos off of this and that takes away viewership from you and there's other creators that make very 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 long videos on some fan games and they already built the niche of people that enjoy their content then there's news youtube creators which they don't make a lot of subscribers because people just probably watch them and get the news and get out but you really gotta think about what do you want to do and Personally, me, I enjoy the gaming aspect of the FNAF. I, I enjoy basically everything FNAF related, related. So it's really hard for me to find what I want to do in this community because I love theories. I'm, I love theories because it makes your brain work. I love the games and fan games because it's FNAF. More FNAF content, the better, you know? Merchandise, even though I only have like a plus 40 thing I got from childhood. I really like the merchandise and I hope one day I can actually buy some of that stuff. But you gotta reach a thousand subscribers and that's very hard. I know I have like 200 something now and I've built that pretty fast compared to my old content I used to make which I do not do not like. It, it, it's, I'm slowly getting up though but it, I wish I got there faster if you understand. Like, you can see other people that make one video and they get like a thousand subscribers automatically and that can kind of make you feel kind of jealous and a little bit angry and you just gotta really think about it 
a lot of thinking being a YouTuber and starting a FNAF based YouTube channel. And I know I made myself different by being a PNG tuber, but a PNG tuber isn't anything FNAF related. It's like a little OC of me that I made on a free software. And I hope eventually I can make my own OC that's FNAF related. Like, I'll just use like Lolbit or Roxy because I really want to do that one day. But I don't got an artist to make a PNG tuber or new profile pitch and stuff like that. So there's a. There's a lot of stuff that you have to think about and do for you to, you know, become popular. And another thing that's popular you got to do is being yourself. Being yourself is something that you just got to accept. You will get mean comments. I get mean comments on my videos because I am a trans FNAF YouTuber. Despite FNAF being pretty LGBT friendly because there was some LGBT characters on FNAF, there is some individuals that will hate you for who you are and uh, if you notice I do have a speech impediment with my R's and that can make some people get away from my videos which is bad but I can't help it you, you, you know like there's some things you can't help and that will push people away but if those people are easily pushed away by stuff like that then maybe it's a good idea that they aren't in your community because you want to build a healthy community especially if you're starting out as a new person. You don't want hateful people, you don't want any of those people. And I know it's hard not to comment on those people or say something back, but you've gotta control yourself and you gotta just delete the comment or just ignore it because it's just gonna cause more stuff, more problems for you at the end of the day and it's gonna give you a headache and it's just gonna give that other person on the other side a little ego boost. So if you get any mean comments like I do, just ignore them just delete the comments it will make you feel better uh sorry if this video is kind of weird i just want to talk about my personal experiences as a new fnaf youtuber on the block and the struggles that i felt if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe it helps a lot and i do want to reach a thousand subscribers one day or even more so if you want to subscribe please that would be awesome and make me very happy and if you do subscribe don't forget to press the notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. I do have some videos in planned and give me some give me some ideas. I'll see you guys later.